Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and stories about Catherine, Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today we bring you news. Catherine is the utmost glamour in the crown and outfits as she pays homage to the late queen at the coronation. Is Catherine's gorgeous headpiece a homage to Queen Elizabeth? The Princess of Wales's floral crown is reminiscent of those worn by the deceased monarch's bridesmaid during her 1947 marriage. Catherine, the Princess of Wales's exquisite flower coronation headdress, which harked throwback memories to her marriage day, possibly had served as an affectionate memorial to the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. Princess Catherine was stunning wearing an Alexander McQueen outfit as well as a Jessica Collette and Alexander McQueen floral crown, and there was constructed of a metallic precious metals, crystalline material as well as silvery threadwork, multi-dimensional floral needlework as well as seemed an eerily identical compared to the tiaras donned by the deceased Queen Elizabeth II's bridesmaids in 1947. Terrace images taken during the deceased queen's marriage to Prince Philip reveal the ladies in her bridal party wearing dresses featuring satin bardo collars and flower crowns identical to Catherine's. Princess Charlotte also sported a virtually identical Alexander McQueen outfit to her mother, and wore the exquisite headdress as a quiet yet lovely homage to the deceased queen on her child's crowning ceremony. The Princess of Wales elected not to use a tiara during the event. Thus, the brilliant headgear represented a departure from custom. She nevertheless chose to pay homage to her deceased mother-in-law, Princess Diana, by wearing pearls and diamond studs that complemented her ensemble. Collingwood studs presented to Diana through King Charles's prior to their 1981 marriage ceremony represent a tender passage from one Princess of Wales towards another. Catherine wore elegant white silk and crepe outfit, accompanied silver embroidery, incorporating the rose, thistle, daffodil, as well as clover patterns to symbolise all four continents. As she landed at Westminster Abbey alongside Prince William, the princess possesses traditionally preferred wearing Alexander McQueen for important events in her professional career. Particularly when Sarah Burton, the brand's artistic director, designed her marriage ceremony gown. The outfit included embroidery featuring the four national blossoms: English rose, Scottish thistle, Welsh daffodil, as well as an Irish emerald. Catherine, on the other hand, made an inconspicuous allusion to the deceased queen's marriage ceremony yesterday. Princess Margaret, Princess Alexandra, Lady Pamela Mountbatten, Diana Bowes Lyon, Margaret Elphinstone, Lady Caroline Montagu Douglas Scott, as well as Lady Mary Cambridge, had been among the eight female maids during the marriage ceremony of Princess Elizabeth, as well as Prince Philip. By the 20th of November 1947, the royal marriage was hosted at Westminster Abbey, which is located in London. Elizabeth met Philip of Denmark and Greece for an initial time during the marriage ceremony of Philip's cousin, Princess Marina of Greece and Denmark, around 1934, and once more around 1937. Prior to being wed, Philip relinquished his Greek and Danish positions, changed from Greek Orthodoxy into Anglicanism, and obtained his name for a member of his maternal grandfather's British relatives, Captain Philip Mountbatten. The marriage ceremony had been planned to improve following the war emotions during an occasion while the majority of London continued to lie in ashes, as well as financial trouble had caused difficulty for regular individuals. Princess Elizabeth's jewelry cracked when she was getting herself ready at the palace prior to departing for the Abbey of Westminster upon the morning of the day of her marriage ceremony. Fortunately, the magistrate's jeweller remained nearby in instance for these dire situations. A law enforcement officer hurried the goldsmith out of his workroom. She still needed rationing vouchers to acquire the textiles for her Norman Hartnell-designed bridal outfit. McVitie's and Price created the formal marriage dessert, but eleven additional desserts were offered as gifts. Although following the war dietary limitations continuing to be in effect, components were brought in by other countries as marriage presents. The Australian Girl Guides provided the ingredients for the formal cake as a wedding present. 
The archbishops of the city of Canterbury, Godfrey Fisher, along with York, Cyril Garbutt, presided during the marriage event. The momentous occasion has been captured and aired to 200 million listeners worldwide through the BBC's radio station. Elizabeth and Philip subsequently went to the palace for breakfast in the palace's banquet supper room. The Australian girl guides provided the necessary supplies for the formal dessert of the official wedding present. Following the nuptial process at the Abbey of Westminster, a rehearsal meal was given to guests in the banquet supper room at the Palace of Windsor. Throughout 2,500 gifts from the wedding as well as 10,000 messages of condolences had been delivered to the newlyweds from every corner of the globe. 500 containers of pineapples, 131 pieces of nylon, 17 sets of silken socks, 17 nightgowns, 29 scarves, 38 purses, 24 sets of protective gloves, as well as a freezer had been among the wedding ceremony gifts delivered to the reigning monarch and duke. Prince Philip's personal present given to his new bride was an antique titanium and diamond bracelet composed of his mother's tiara. Princess Andrew of Greece. The newly married couple embarked on their honeymoon right from Waterloo Palace, accompanied by the Queen's Corgi Susie. The happy couple celebrated their big evening at Broadlands, the country estate of Prince Philip's uncle, Earl Mountbatten, outside Hampshire. The honeymoon period wrapped up in Birkhall while staying on the Balmoral grounds. The second part of the honeymoon was spent at Birkhall on the Balmoral estate. Whenever images of Princess Catherine surface in the coronation, numerous royal admirers and fashion addicts commented about her outfit. One person commented, I certainly would have loved a tiara from the catacombs. They have a sufficient number of them. However, a number of them aren't being donned in generations and have therefore been previously compensated for. Contrasting the work of art she donned today. Therefore, I'm certain as to why they chose this path. Another said, Catherine looked beyond stunning. The lady is always spot on with her clothes. I love the headpiece, but I wish we got to see her gown that was under the cloak. Hopefully, someone will have a picture of it. A different individual stated, We can only speculate whether it seemed wasn't however I believe it seemed gorgeous, as well as knowing that Charlotte had a smaller replica of what was made it much more lovely. Charlotte additionally wore the exact same hairpiece as her mother, although she additionally had her locks styled in the direction at the back. So dang adorable. She additionally resembles Princess Anne. Princess Charlotte has been a lovely cheeky young girl. Prince Louis tends to be a business reasons, and Prince George, such as his father, is quiet. Thank you for watching the video. What do you think of Princess Catherine's homage to Queen Elizabeth by wearing the headpiece to remind us of our beloved Queen? Please share your opinions and I'll say goodbye for the time being.